on the bench today is the Fluke 289. Now, I've done several videos or reviews on this multimeter. And the reason why I'm doing it again today because uh, I feel as though every review that I've done on it, I haven't done enough justice uh, explaining the multimeter or uh, just telling you how much I like this multimeter. And what makes me say that is because this multimeter has been out over 10 years for sure. I had this one for a long time, maybe close to 10 years, if not 10 years. It's been out for a long time. And if you ask me, this is just my opinion, I believe truly that this is the world's, world's best handheld multimeter ever in, our, in, in the entire world. <coughs> now, some of you may or may not disagree with that. If you agree, I'm gonna ask you to leave a comment and tell me why you agree. If you don't agree with what I just said, I'm actually leave a comment also telling me why you don't agree. But again, this is just my opinion. I think this is the world's best handheld multimeter ever. And if you think about it, when uh, Fluke has made this multimeter, uh, years after, several other companies or multimeter manufacturers, they start making their multimeters uh, similar to this one. In other words, the shape, the uh, the, uh, the where the buttons are, the soft keys, the way they're designed on it. Case in point, Edgetech made one. I think it's the GX900. Uh, the company uh, Sim, Sim, they made one. Unity, they came out with a multimeter uh, based upon the Fluke 289 and 287. Uh, Reed Instruments came out with one. There, there, there are several multimeters on the market that came out with multimeters based upon this 289. Those of you, uh, like I say, who agree, uh, tell me if you agree in your comments. If you don't, well, you also tell me why you don't agree. Um, this multimeter has a, I mean, it's, it's featured pack. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that's why this fluke don't have to make another multimeter or a newer uh, 289. And if they do, uh, they can change, uh, put, I guess put a longer life battery in it. Uh, for one thing, yep. And um, long life battery. And uh, that maybe that's about it, you know. And uh, the Bluetooth could have been uh, internally. Because they, they could do that instead of putting a big device on the top. But it is what it is. That don't make it bad or, or worse to me. In fact, it's, it's still a top-notch multimeter. Uh, again, this multimeter is feature pack. Fe I have a whole bunch of features. Everything that you could possibly think of, you could do it with this multimeter. Um, so, uh, it's number one in my book. Uh, I haven't seen a multimeter yet on the market that, uh, you know, that comes close to matching out the fluke. Uh, without cloning the features of this Fluke 289. Uh, let's start off with some of the the soft key, uh, some of the features on here. So let me just move the camera up a little bit. I'm sorry about the, the little shaking in the video. Okay, get a little Z. All right, you get a uh, volts, millivolts AC, volts AC. I'm sorry, volts DC. Get millivolts DC. Um, let me see. Millivolts DC. Um, temperature. Get ohms. Uh, get continuity. You get nano Siemens. Uh, nano Siemens. I guess that's what that N stands for. You get uh, capacitance, diode. You get milliamps, amps, AC DC, microamps, AC DC. And you go get low ohms right here, right on on, on the four am. Push button start up. You get uh, all the soft keys up here, which can bring you through some of the features. And we'll do that now. Like if you want to set it up, let me turn the back light back on. You want to set it up? You can do so, and you can scroll through a lot of the features here. 
uh, let me put the brighter light on. You can scroll through some of the features there. You see all the features that it has. I'll tell you that. And if you want to set it up, you can either uh, you can move the the cursor right here uh, or go across and go to the feature that you want. I'm gonna close that for a minute, and I'm gonna go to the menu. And you see all the features that it has here. And you can also set it up for data logging, trend graphing, and things like that. If that's what you choose to do, a meter mat, a, a, a multimeter of this size, it's kind of it's kind of large. It's not the average size multimeter, but it's not large that you can't carry it around with you. Um, in an industrial setting, I prefer to have this Fluke 289 or the Fluke 87.5. Now, I do do I use this multimeter a whole lot? I, I I don't use as much as I used to, um, but I and I do have other favorites. But when I talk about the greatest multimeter in the world, I have to refer default back to this Fluke 289 or the 287, but this is the 289. Now, um, you also have the min max feature. Um, it had, this is how it look. Let me get out of that. Close it. That's how a min max, the min max would look. Okay. And you can either set that up to go to start. Press start right there. I'm going to stop and get out of that. You can have the range. Oh, let me get out of this. Okay, you have a range button here. You have a, a info button that tells you about the, what each function on this meter is about. You can either scroll up or down. It tells you about what's like what give it a definition of what these um, what certain symbols mean and about the multimeter. And, uh, and that's the info. And, and you can select from these four soft keys at the top. Uh, here at the top, they do have a port that's for the um, that's for the um, the Fluke Connect as an adapter that comes with it. I think I have it closer. Well, yes, I do. This is it right here. Let me back up the camera a little bit. This is the Fluke Connect right here that, that that sits on the top of it, and it goes. Let me just put it on there since I have it. That's how it goes. Okay, that's if you choose to uh, connect with the Fluke Connect app. That's uh, the connector that goes with it. And uh, they give you some nice leads. Uh, I don't have the original leads that came with it, but these are Fluke leads right here. The Fluke Elegant Croc Clips. And I always use the Fluke Fused Test Lead, I mean Test Probes. But mostly all of my uh, all of my multimeters and on all of my test leads uh, again I can't stress enough that um, I do like this multimeter and you know I do uh, I, I don't have enough words to tell you how much I like it but anyway uh, I do want to say this if this is your first time viewing the channel and uh, you like you like this video and you you like what I'm doing and you want to join our little community here at the electricians 2 channel Hit that like button, subscribe button, or leave a comment. Also, if you know if you think somebody else would benefit from this video or would like to see it, you can share the video. I would appreciate it. All of that is for free, and uh, it's just showing your support. Uh, I would appreciate that very much. Okay, so but anyway, that's that's the video right here that I want to show you about this this fluke. Um, again, like I said, I have several other videos about this multimeter, and. Um, I was going to do a video on another on another multimeter, and I looked at this multimeter, just called, almost like called out to me to say, you know, I want to say something, <laughs> and, you know, uh, and I just went on and did the video on this one. So again, if you like it, you know, hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment if you choose to. But in the meantime, uh, I'm gonna go, and until we meet up again, um, I'll have another video ready for you guys, the one that I intended on making. And uh, uh, until next time, we, we, we'll meet here again. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. You guys take care. Later.